Good morning, folks. Looking at the last day of our star in 193 angstroms, you'd never guess we had a major uptick in solar flare activity. However, website members have been expecting a major ramp up in flares here at the end of the month as that supermoon eclipse also welcomed in Mercury, ready to conjoin the Sun. And an uptick we have indeed. The flashing in 131 angstroms represents a flurry of M-class events. And while you indeed saw five of them in yesterday's news, the largest yet occurred hours later at M7 class, producing a strong radio blackout. However, there was little to no ejecta from that or the other events, only the ones happening at the limb. But we've now got M-class flares happening regularly. We had eight of them in just the six hours preceding this morning news. Let's monitor the big southern sunspot group and the one on the north incoming. Beta, Gamma, Delta down south, this is the primary flare maker. When examining the Delta class area in the center, you see how positive blue is intruding into the red negative umbra. That's major flare potential there. Not so much of it can be seen on the north, however. There's magnetic spread. Now, although the solar wind speed in yellow is dropping, we're seeing a dense wave in orange that also twisted the phi angle in blue, and a slight perturbation is set on our system, but I mean slight in the truest sense. You remember the IMF from this coronal hole is weak, and so this earthquake uptick isn't expected to surge until Mercury actually conjoins the Sun. But thus far we do have more unusual location rumbles, including here. Anything over 4 is noteworthy at this location. The news of the day, there is flowing water on Mars. Salt water. New website members, take some time to check out our Star Water series. Now that this prediction is confirmed, maybe you'd like to know what's coming next. Also, check out the deeper look from earlier this month where we identified the planetary geometry for September so you can see how we knew this solar uptick was coming. Top weather stories. Typhoon. Taiwan. 181 mile per hour winds shattering local records. More than two feet of rain. It does appear, however, that they were ready. There are not many people dead. And luckily now the system has moved on and is making landfall in mainland China. The other system of note south of Mexico is beginning to be a pain in the butt for locals, but the real story here is to the north. We've been eyeing the Gulf moisture and that coming in from the Atlantic as it gathers here for major downpours. How about more than 7 inches of rain in Mobile, Alabama? Not your average rainy day there. This rainfall is expected to remain in the southeast, expected to remain ridiculous, and you should expect to be checking local forecasts regularly. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.